Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most hilarious cheating stories that I have ever seen. Many people choose to cheat at chess because for some reason it makes you feel intellectually dominant. It's somehow even better than cheating on an exam in college or something along those lines. And today I've got a, a, an incredible story. This story begins with a person that could not improve at chess past the level of 700. I went back and I looked at this individual's games. They were not getting better at 700 ELO, which is very common. But it's actually it's not that hard to get better at 700 ELO. It just takes a lot of practice. And then this person started cheating. And this person would cheat in different ways. They would log in for a week. They would cheat for 20 games in a row. And then they would log out. And somehow they would escape getting banned because they weren't logging in every day. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to share it with you because this is super, super, super funny stuff. There is everything in this video. They lose to a cheater at some point. Then they, oh, I, I'm not even gonna, I, I'm not even gonna spoil it. If you're new to the, this channel, uh, welcome. Uh, I cover a lot of different chess stuff. And uh, one of the chess stuffs uh, that I cover is people cheating, right? People cheating. So how do you know somebody's cheating? Very high move accuracy, uh, consistent use of time, uh, massive win rate, etc. So first I'm gonna show you how our cheater played before they started cheating, and then after showing you a couple of those games, we're gonna look at the beginning of their cheating career, how they grew by some 1,000 rating points, uh, and yeah, all of, the, all of the incredible stuff in between. So keep in mind, this person was rated about 700, okay? This is the first game that I saw our cheater uh, play. Our cheater used to play uh, pawn to d5. In fact, this person really enjoyed creating a little trident of pawns. Uh, cheater used to play Pawn to e6 and f5 in literally every single game. So I don't really insult people or make fun of their intelligence when they play chess. I make fun of the moves and, thing, and I'm theatrical. But if you cheat, oh, I'm going to be ruthless. So this person used to play this kind of trident chess opening. Uh, and it's not very good because it just loses a pawn, right? So, you know, white being 700 developed a knight and a queen. Not the best way to play chess, but it's life. Black plays f5 and loses the pawn in the center and then doesn't even take it back. So, takes and then goes here, losing yet another pawn. So, th this is, you know, down two pawns in the first seven moves. That's not good. That, that, that is what happens when you aren't cheating at chess. And then proceeds to make it even worse by attacking the queen with the pawn, which blunders queen to e5, check, fork. This is a very common trap in the scholar's mate with queen h5, g6, where the queen takes here, attacking the king and the rook. And that is actually exactly what happens in this game. It's the exact same pattern. Check here. And black resigned. So this was the career of this person before they started cheating in all of their games. They were 700. They sometimes did dumb things in the opening. They played an opening that is just terrible. I, you know... One of the things you need to start doing, stop doing as a beginner is making up your own openings because you can't really do that. That's like making up your own ways of driving a car. There's really only one way to drive a car. You know, like the way they teach you. You can't just be like, well, I drive my car with my hands and my feet touch the steering wheel. No, you're just an idiot. Like you need help. So all of this to say that, you know, um... This is how they used to play chess. Uh, and, and there were some good games. You know, this game didn't last seven. Uh, look, I, I, I told you, this game didn't last seven moves. Another trident little stupid thing. Uh, bishop to b4 check. Uh, good play here by black. Um, you know, we have a trade of pieces. And now, of course, white should develop, develop, castle. You don't want to make multiple moves with pieces you've already made in the opening because you're going to open up your position. You don't want to initiate trades in the opening while your king is still stuck in the center. That's exactly what white does. Uh, and then just gives black a really good position. And now our cheater, before cheating, plays bishop to d3. Now, bishop d3 is a garbage move because you just literally just traded queens to get there. And then you give up the bishop. Then black attacks the bishop because black is 700. We've all been there. I haven't, but you have. Now, two things attack this bishop. Our cheater completely doesn't see it. Loses a pawn. Knight, to, knight takes e4. Now, rook f1, bishop g4. 
This is knight takes bishop for free. Instead, white goes here. Um, knight d3 is mate in a moment. Rook d1 hangs mate. White spent 15 seconds and played literally the worst move on the board. That's not, I'm not exaggerating. The alternative would have been going here and getting mated with the knight. I mean, white literally moved a rook to a square that it could get taken three different ways and got checkmated. Like, this person had a rough career, okay, before they started cheating. They were 700. Here's another game. Th th this time, they didn't get to play their trident opening. Instead, they, they did whatever this is. They took with the pawn instead of the knight. They put the bishop behind the pawn. Just not good chess, you know? Not, not great. Um, knight e5 attacks this. Right? Like, you should castle here or block. White go he, he goes here. Uh, just allows knight f7. A and these games are chaos. Like, losing the rook. Not even taking it back. Now, white somehow loses the advantage as well here. Queen f3. I mean, it looks like, oh my goodness, knight g6. Bishop takes. Now, somehow, b white starts losing the game because, you know, 700 chess is crazy. Now black is winning bishop a6. Rook d8. Now 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 it's back to equal and 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 now and now our cheater is just going to get mated and the, and they they get mated. Okay. So look. Um they were losing games in less than 10 moves. They were losing games in 15 moves. They were losing games then winning games and losing games. My friends, this is where this person started cheating and uh yeah, it's been a wild time ever since. Um, they started cheating, and <laughs> the, one of the very first games that they played, just look at the difference. Look at the difference in ability between cheating and not cheating. One of their first opponents was named Jon Snow, and, 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 our, and our cheater played a King's Gambit, okay? Now, some cheaters try to avoid getting caught by not always playing the best move or by stalling the clock out in certain situations or by playing bad openings and then catching up in the game what i'm about to show you is some of the funniest stuff that you might ever see a person cheating and discovering things about their chess they didn't want they didn't otherwise know so black gives this check because black is 900 okay black thinks this is checkmate it's not now the queen has to go back, and now what white is going to do is win time against the queen and develop their pieces. So the cheater takes on e5. You'll notice that white is spending like a lot of time on these moves. For example, on the move pawn to g3, which is literally the only logical move in the position, the alternative being here, the cheater sometimes was thinking about making the second best move. And, and you're going to see this during the video instead of the best move. So take, take, develop, and develop. And you'll notice... White already has some advantage uh, because white has developed pieces better. Queen e7. And now the computer decides queen to e2 to try to prepare long castling. So the cheater plays queen e2, all right, in about 12 seconds. Uh, black takes on c3. Uh, white takes with the d-pawn to open up the bishop, uh, spending, you know, again, 12 seconds. Like, look at that. Look at this. 12 seconds. Exactly 12 seconds again. Okay. Now, the best move is to develop the bishop. Right, some you know you can go bishop g5 or e5 or bishop f4. So like I said, sometimes cheaters they like to play you know the second best move or the third best move. So bishop f4 played after 13 seconds, 12, 12, 13. All right, bishop g4 castles. Uh, excuse me, bishop g2, 14 seconds. All right, now a lot of different moves are are, are equivalent here. Bishop g2 now castle short. Okay, guess that's not you know we're not castling long. Castles long. And now the cheater plays queen f2, also about 16 seconds. Every move being played between 12 and 18 seconds, okay? Queen f2. Now, knight f6, and now white has an opportunity to get an advantage. White gets an advantage after spending 13 seconds on the clock. The reason for that is the cheater is inputting this into a computer, then letting it think, it, and, and, and then going back and going, oh, I see, okay, knight to d4 is the best move. You unpin yourself, you try to trade off a knight, you try to infiltrate the opponent's king, take, take, and now pawn to c5. Now, in this position, the best move is just obviously rotating the queen. I feel like any human would do that. But the cheater plays the second best computer move because they are trying not to get caught. And then the second best computer move here doesn't make any sense because you take a pawn, which is defended by two things. What? 
Well, the idea is that after this, you have a fork. No 900 sees that. What are we even, what? So the cheater doesn't understand how crazy their move looks. They're just like, well, I don't want to always play the best move, which is why Stockfish gives this an inaccuracy because queen a4 is the best move, but bishop d6 is the second best move. Bishop d6. Now, black is like, well, if I take the queen, they're going to take my queen, so I'm going to take the bishop. Yeah, but you see, the cheater had an idea, right? That's why they, you know, this. 11 seconds. Every move is coming between 12 and 18 seconds. Look, that, that move was even faster. That was 9 seconds. Takes, check, and now e5. And white is crushing, just forking things. The rook, the knight hanging, has a very, very big advantage. Black goes here. And any human being here sees this and that and goes, boom. But most human beings aren't cheating when they play chess. The best move in this position is that. So queen d6, e d6, you know, interchangeable. E takes d6, very nice move. If you take my queen, I take your queen. And uh, queen d7, and now the queen side steps to b4, lining up and attack over here. Now, what you're about to witness is so sick. When I saw this, I knew I had to include it in the video because we are talking about a person who about three days prior was losing games in nine moves. The cheater in this position plays the move rook to f5. As you can see from the arrows drawn, the rook can be taken, but then queen b7 is mate. Most 900s here play this, but that is actually the top computer move. Remember, the cheater is trying to not get caught, but the cheater accidentally plays a brilliant move. Black plays b6, setting up queen takes, and then this. Now, the best move in this position is rook e5 to go there. The second best move is rook a5, which is what the cheater plays because the cheater thinks, well, you know, I'm not going to get caught if I play the second best move. My friends, do you understand the idea of rook to a5? Some of you may go, oh, I get it. You can't take because of the pin. That's really clever. My friends, that's not the idea. The idea is to sacrifice the queen and mate. What? This is a person that was losing games in less than 10 moves. And three days later, this dude just went rook f5, rook a5, queen sack, mate. <laughs> what? What? What are we even looking? Rook f5. Rook a5. This person was trying not to cheat, trying not to get caught. And then they saw this move. And then they didn't even realize why it was made. They spent another nine seconds. Queen b6. Do you know why it took white 24 seconds to play this move? Because they didn't understand. They were looking at the computer going, why is the computer telling me to sacrifice my queen? Then they realized. <laughs> the people don't realize when they cheat how stupid they look. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? I <laughs> think... My friends, it, it only got better. This person cheated. Like I said, they would log in. They would cheat for 10, for 15 games. Then they would log out. Okay? They would log in. They would cheat. They would log out. Then they ran into a cheater. By this point, this was like months in the future. And <clears throat> on the one hand, it would be great if like chess.com could flag these people right away. There are hundreds of thousands of people playing online at any given moment. I'm not sure you could ever come up with an algorithm strong enough to detect all of that right away. So, yeah, you know, would I love to see these people banned before they can take rating points like this? Uh, yeah, I, I just don't know. I don't know what it's like to run a chess website. I have a courses website. Do you know it, by the way? It's called, it's called Chessly. It's where all my courses are. You can check them out, I, you know, in case. Also, I have a book. I, I like to promote things. Anyway. Um, here's a game that the cheater played against the better cheater. <clears throat> e4. So the players develop a four knights. And um, <clears throat> bishop b5. Bishop d6. Castles, castles. And now, you know, any normal human goes here or here, but the cheater's trying not to get caught. So they play the, the third best computer move, which is retreating the bishop. Black plays knight to d4. Uh, black is cheating every move. So black is playing basically the top computer move every move. White is trying to play not the top computer move every move. And also they're using different computers to cheat. White might be using, you know, something on a phone that's better than all humans, but is worse than other bots. 
So knight takes d4, pawn takes d4. Now, if I'm, if I'm a human, I go here to try to win this pawn. Computer goes here, though. So that's hanging. That's hanging. The bishop is there. Knight takes e4. And now, again, I would just go somewhere like this, but instead, our cheater plays queen g4, which is not... It, it's not up there with the, with the lines of the computer, but it's probably the second or third best move. And then they win the pawn like this. And black comes back, and black has a slight advantage here, okay? White develops the rook to e1 in 13 seconds because they're cheating. Black plays rook e8, now white plays queen f4, which attacks the pawn on c7. Uh, black plays d5. So black completely disregards the pawn, counterattacking this. But I mean, again, any human being here at 1500 just plays pawn to d6, which is a very reasonable move. d5, the bishop goes back, and now again we hang the pawn into a fork because the idea... Do you know, do you know why black played this, allowing this? Because that loses to bishop d6! Hitting the queen, and after you take it, rookie won. Nobody saw that. Neither of these cheating idiots saw that bishop d7 allows a fork, but then bishop d6 is a haymaker. Nobody saw that. They have no idea what they're missing, because they're cheating every move. They don't actually know how to play chess. Instead of that, white plays rook e3, which is one of the best moves, trying to rook lift. I, I don't actually know what you're trying to do, because knight h5 fork, really, I have no idea. Uh, black plays d4, losing a pawn two different ways. <laughs> But if you take like this, this is a fork, so you can't do that. So you've got to take it with the queen. And now the best move is knight to g... What? The best move is knight to g4, putting pressure on this and this and this. And now the queen is a target. So bishop 2f6 hits the queen. Queen c4 slides out of the way. And now the black rook can infiltrate to the first rank. But before we do that, we need to kick this knight out for some reason. You still can't take because of rook c8. That one I at least see. Knight goes back. Now, black starts launching the pawns. Okay, now you'll notice black every move. Look at black's moves. Look at every one of black's moves. 12 seconds. 16 seconds. 10 seconds. 14 seconds, right? Everybody's cheating. Everybody's cheating. Now, bishop d4 is a major problem. And unfortunately, our cheater with white is getting outplayed by the cheater with black. Has to sacrifice. And now the cheater with black uh, starts bulldozing. So... Here, uh, again, the third best move is to take, which is why it was played. And now, at this point, I think basically the cheater gave up. Bishop takes f2 is a, is a nasty sacrifice. And now black absolutely swarms with the queen and the rook. And our cheater cheated, but not well enough. Queen c4, and now a brutal move. Rook e2, disconnecting the pieces. Look at black's time, by the way. Black is spending a minute and a half on a move because black is pretending to think, all right? Every cheater is different up here psychologically. Every cheater is trying to, you know, pretend that they're not actually doing it. But unfortunately, it's made in a few moves. Check. And now check. Check. You'll notice every move now for black. Look, 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 look. Every move. Like 11 seconds, 13 seconds. That one came in six seconds. And that one in two. Uh, the reason Black saw those last few moves is because, quickly, in two seconds, because Black is actually, you know, probably decent at chess. Like, people cheat because they're like 900, 1,000. Anyway, Black was banned shortly thereafter. Um, <clears throat> very funny game, punctuated by, like, a <laughs> punctuated by White setting up an attack on a pawn, which Black just allows, but White doesn't... <laughs> Do you understand how stupid this is? Think about this. A human plays this move... Because you attack that, obviously, what else could you possibly be doing? This move, okay, at least, fine. Any human on the planet plays this because they think their opponent messed up. And probably their opponent did. At most level, this is what's gonna happen. It's so funny that, that both players are cheating and they don't even realize what's in the position. Now, <laughs> this is a cheating blooper. I've, I never thought I could discover something like this until I took a look at this person's profile. At this point, there's 1600. So, cheater versus cheater is actually common. It's very common. Like, two people cheating, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people playing chess around the world. It's common for a cheater to play a cheater. <laughs> I choked, I got so excited. I've never seen something like this. <clears throat> Have you ever seen a person cheating at chess lose in nine moves? How can you cheat at chess but lose in nine moves? E4. 
E5. Cheater is cheating every game. Knight F3, Knight C6. All right, white plays c3. White is trying to play the Ponziani. Very good opening for beginners and intermediate players. Black, of course, since they're cheating, plays the top computer move of the opening. And now queen to a4 is the best move, but white takes and plays bishop e2. So white is already worse. White is worse because this is not the idea of the Ponziani. You've taken away a very natural developing square for your knight. And now black has a lot of activity. So rather than develop, actually, black now just starts punishing you. Pawn in the center, now your knight's gotta go, it undevelops to, to g1. <clears throat> knight f6, bishop, all of this is good. But black plays knight e5, taking advantage of the loose square. And now d3, I mean, it's just a very difficult position already for white, who lashes out with pawn to f4. You can take en passant, but the idea knight to d3 is brutal. Uh, and black is already winning in seven moves, because black is cheating, okay? Uh, but how is black winning in seven moves, but losing in nine? Well, in this position, white takes the knight and offers a queen trade. Now, black has a couple of ways of dealing with this. Uh, black can play knight f6, going, you know, to defend the queen. Black does not want to trade because that just helps white develop. Black hasn't done themselves any favors there. And also, black doesn't really want to move away because that just gives white development. So in this position, the best move, according to the computer, is to play bishop to e6, defending the queen with the intention of attacking the pawn if that trade happens. But in this position, black mouse lips. <laughs> black was trying to play the best move, but instead mouse lipped, lost the queen and resigned. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. This person has been cheating for like 40 games at this point and mouse lips. And by the way, by the way, would have probably won this game had they kept cheating, because they would have defended themselves, and then white would have gone here, and then black would have done this, and then, you know, slowly black would have worked their way back, because, the, you know, a computer can beat a human. But instead, they just resigned after mouse slipping their queen, and probably thought, well, if I lose a couple of games, then I'm not gonna get banned. Um, oh my, this is incredible. And this was, this game was really funny, because this game shows exactly what I'm talking about throughout the video, just constantly, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. The cheater plays e4. The better cheater plays e5. And we have a four knights and now knight to d4. Very similar opening that we had to the other cheater versus cheater game. So, uh, white plays castles. Uh, black doesn't actually take the bishop. Black plays c6. White goes here, and now black does this, helping white develop. That's a really weird move. I do not understand that at all. But remember, black is cheating. Bishop c5, queen g3, attacks both pawns. Black just castles. Can't even be bothered to defend one. Queen e5, because black is going to go here. And then after ed5, black is going to play bishop d6. All of this happens. So black loses two pawns in the opening. You look at this, you go, what is black doing? They're just down two pawns. Right, if they take, and then 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 take, black is just completely lost. Black just five pawns for seven, it's a completely losing position. But black is cheating. Black is cheating at a higher level than white is cheating. Bishop d6. Queen goes back to e2. <laughs> and black, by the way, the best move for white was to go here. Or here. But white is trying not to get caught. So white goes here and gets hit with a great gift. Bishop takes h2, the Greek gift sacrifice, luring the king into the open onto g3, because if you go this way, queen h4 is just lights out. You're just gonna lose. You're gonna have to sacrifice your queen. So the king comes out. Now watch as the more brutal cheater cheats in a better way and wins. Rook 2e8 attacks the queen, puts the queen on the open line. The queen slides back to d1. Black now plays the best move, which is h5. Defending the knight, restricting this, and h4 is actually a brutal threat. So white has to play the only move not to lose. They're cheating again, f4. So you're gonna slide the king over here. Black plays h4, forcing the king over here, and now queen to b6. Now, there is a mate threatened. This is mate. You cannot escape onto the E file or those squares, and F2 is covered by the queen. So, white, by a miracle, plays G3 in 13 seconds, by the way, because white is cheating. So, white is spending a consistent amount of time, and now creates an escape path. Now, pawn to H3. Now, so, we just saw black, we just saw the cheater mouse slip and lose a game. 
This is perhaps the funniest moment in the entire video. I mean, mouse lip was pretty damn good. Um, this is hilarious. So, remember, White is trying not to play the best move all the time. Because White thinks, if I play the top computer move all the time, I'm going to get banned. But if I play the second or the third, I'm going to survive, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so the top computer move in this position is D4, which blocks the queen. So this is no longer checkmate, and you can run over here, because the queen is... <laughs> but the only other way not to get mated in one is if, if you go here, it's still mate in one. So the only other way not to get mated in one is to go here and lose your queen. <laughs> and that's what White did! White doesn't realize that this is just losing a queen, whereas this is at least prolonging the game a little bit. So White is like, I'm not gonna get caught and place queen to eat two and just lose. <laughs> just loses the queen and spends 17 seconds on that move and then loses the queen and then spends one second taking <laughs> And black just develops all the pieces and then brings the rook Bishop e2 pawn to and I mean the pawn just walks down the whole board Queen d4 and uh, the best move for black now, which is so brutal in this position <laughs> <Queen>. <laughs> Sacrificing the queen in order to promote another <laughs> White resigned. They had enough. Oh my goodness. This cheater was good, but they, they were in nothing compared to these others. My friends, this is why you should not cheat at chess, because you're gonna take rating points from innocent people, but one day I'm gonna find you, and good lord am I gonna expose your intellectual capabilities. Chess does not correlate to your intelligence, it doesn't correlate to your self-worth. Let's get philosophical for a moment. You're gonna lose like half the games of chess that you play, if not more. Chess is a lifelong learning process, okay? I go to play tennis at the local park, I don't hit 100% of my shots in, and I would, I would never expect to because I'm terrible at tennis, I just play it for fun. You have to be willing to lose. You can't cheat like this because you don't realize how absurd you look. Consistent time management. Thinking you're clever by playing the second or third best move, even if it means <laughs> giving up your queen or mouse slipping trying to def- <laughs> I'm done, my friends. Oh my goodness, get out of here.